Hey, what's up you guys? It's Marlena and welcome to or back to my channel. Today, I... What was I going to say? Since quarantine started, I feel like a lot of people are either becoming super lazy and just eating all the time or they're grinding and they're working out every day. I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle, but I've been trying to work out every day. So I've made this little workout routine that kind of targets the things that I really want to work on, like my abs, my butt, my legs, stuff like that. I'm going to show you guys that today. So usually I start off with some cardio, go on a walk, go on a hike. I'll like run up and down my stairs like 10 times. It's actually a big, like a hard workout. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of running, so usually I'll find another way to do my cardio. After that, I do leg stretches. They're all 30 seconds, and it's like a six minute stretch. I start off by just the normal um, sitting down, leg out, reach out and touch your toe. And then that for 30 seconds, and then I switch to the other leg. After that, I will do the little butterfly sitting one. After that, I will do, I'll just touch my toes for 30 seconds. I'm also trying to get my splits in quarantine. It's kind of a goal of mine. So I do this little split stretch. So it starts off by, it's like almost like you're kneeling down and you stretch out your back leg and then you switch. After that, you lift up your heel on the back leg and then you switch. After that, you straighten out the front leg and then you touch the ground and then you switch to the other leg. And then you sit on the ground and you sort of twist your body to touch Opposite. your toe and then you switch. So for my abs, I do everything for 30. I count to 30 for each of these things and I just do one after the other. Start off by doing crunches with my legs up. Um, it targets your lower abs really well. And then I will do just normal, like the crunches where you touch your knees. And I'll do 30 of those and then I go into the bicycles, so it's just the opposite elbow to the knee. For that, I count to 60. That way it's doing 30 on each side. After that, I will roll over onto my side and do little side crunches. Um, I usually do 15 on each side. Then I'll do a little penguins and I'll count to 30. And then I will do 10 leg lifts just to finish it off. Since I'm already on my back, I will start to transition into my butt slash leg workout. I will do the little bridge lifts with one leg over the knee. And I'll do 30 on each side. And then I will do these little frog workout things. And these really work your inner thighs. After that, I will roll over. And then I will do little side planks just to finish off my abs and work on my waist. And then I will go into my, my butt workout. And I will do little donkey kicks and I'll do 15 on my right leg and then right after I will do 15 fire hydrants and then after that I do 15 of the little like circle put your knee in a circle thing and then I'll switch my left leg and do the same exact thing the 15 donkey kicks the fire hydrants and little circle things next I go into my elastic band this thing will make you so sore so using that I will lay on my side and I'll do these little um, knee raises with the elastic band on and then I'll do 30 of those and then I'll roll over and do 30 on the other side and then with the elastic band still on I would do 30 fire hydrants on both sides and then I'll finish that off by doing 30 of whatever form of squats that I want to do either like sumo squats or just regular squats or little side to side. Today I decided to do the side to side ones and I'll do 30 of those and then I'll take it off just kind of stretch a little bit. I'm really feeling motivated. I'll do a little bit of arms. I don't want to build any muscle on my arms so I really just work on toning them. To do that I will normally just do a few push-ups. I suck at push-ups so I do the girl ones or I'll use these little three pound weights. Just do like little bicep curl things or do them the other way. I will just do the windmill or t-pose thingies i don't even know what they're called for like two minutes so to finish off i will drink some water of course maybe make a sandwich or make something good for lunch well thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up try to stay motivated in quarantine i know it's really hard with everything going on but it'll make you feel a lot better and seeing results and seeing myself lose the freshman 15 that i gained when i was in college and just it just makes you feel better. At least put your body in movement, go for a walk or walk your dog or go up and down the stairs a few times or just go for a swim or whatever you want, whatever's fun for you. But yes, I hope you enjoyed. 
Um, if you want to follow me on any social medias, they'll be down below. I'm hopefully going to be making a lot more videos since I have so much free time now. Stay tuned for more. I have a lot of ideas. And I also, if you haven't noticed, I fixed my camera, so I hopefully won't need to film on my phone as much compared to like some of my other vlogs that I have. Better quality content. I will see you guys in my next video.